Hello everybody, it's Monday, and that means it's week two of Species of the Week. And so during our last week, we ended up rolling the moose, which turned out to be quite a bit of fun and gave us quite a few awesome trophies along the way. And since you guys seem to really like this uh, style of video, we're going to continue this series. Every single week, we're going to continue to spin a brand new species, and obviously the one that we got previously will be taken off of the board along with... Uh, well, at least for now, any species that are on maps that are bugged. So, for example, since I can't fast travel to any of my outposts on Silver Ridge Peaks, all of the species that are exclusive to Silver Ridge are taken off the list. And it's the same for Yukon. I can't play Yukon the way that I'd like to right now because none of the outposts work for me. So, until that's fixed, all of those species are not going to be on the wheel. But once it gets fixed in the next update, we will tick off all the boxes and once again, everything will be here to possibly get landed on. Now I did keep species from Verhonga Savannah and Medved even though those maps are having a lot of audio issues because uh, you can still hunt on those maps without too many issues it's just the audio sometimes cuts in and out and occasionally will go completely away which is a little bit annoying but it's not really going to inhibit our actual hunting too much so we'll keep those but if you guys think we should take them off at some point then we will at least temporarily until it's fixed but yeah i think without further ado let's go ahead and spin for week two's animal let's see what it is and we end up getting the ronda ibex so it looks like we're going to be spending a ton of time on quattro Kalinus, which is actually kind of good because we don't go to that map too often, and I do really badly want to get some good wolves. So, we'll probably look for other stuff along the way. As you guys know, we don't specifically hunt just the species that we end up rolling. We uh, look at whatever else is on the map too, but our primary goal will be the Ronda Ibex. So, looks like that's what we're going to be spending the next week going for. And luckily, it looks like there is a multiplayer server that's going to be at the correct time. Actually, pretty much all of the servers are at the right time for Ibex. So we'll join this one first and see what we can find. And uh, if we run out of servers to check, then we'll jump over to single player. Uh, we just need to look around a little bit so we can get a few uh, decent Ibex for this video. And then we're going to spend the rest of the week trying to find some more trophies. And at the end of the week, we'll show off everything we got. Now, I think one of the biggest issues we're going to run into while trying to hunt these Ronda Ibex is just the fact that everything is so far away from outposts. Like, there's really not a lot of lakes that are next to outposts that actually have them. So, we're going to be running a very long distance anytime we want to get near some. So, that could become an issue, but hopefully we'll be able to work around it. I mean, we're going to be using the ATV quite a bit in multiplayer, but... Uh, we might honestly switch over to single player sooner than later. That way we can just use our tents to uh, grind the Rondas as much as possible. We have finally found some Ronda Ibex and that's actually a pretty good looking level 4 right there. I don't actually remember what diamond is. I think it's like 110 if I'm not mistaken. It's either 110 or 107. I mean honestly that one's got... If it's 107, that guy's got a chance. I think we'll take it out because that actually is a pretty good one. Uh, let's get the 6.5 ready to smoke this thing. We should be able to make that shot, I would imagine at least. And yeah, we absolutely dropped that thing. And there's another level 4 running off. And it's much smaller, so I'd say it's safe to say the one we just took out has a decent chance of being a diamond. Provided the... Um, diamond requirement is 107 because I'm still not sure if it is. I guess we'll find out once we claim this thing. And there he is. And you know what? That does look very similar to my diamond one, I think. Although, it might be like one horn size low. I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. And it is just a gold at 102. But that is a very good Ronda Ibex. Definitely not too shabby at all. Quite a beautiful male. And it does look like Diamond is 107.90, so this was incredibly close. And it did have a chance with that estimate, but it is just slightly too small. And I believe it's symmetrical, so yeah, it is just one horn size too low, I believe. And the host did end up leaving the server, so we can actually change the time back to the beginning of Ibex drink time, which is going to be pretty useful because we were actually getting like within an hour of it being over, so this is going to be really helpful. 
Well, uh, that might be one of the most interesting Ronda Ibex I've ever seen. Like, that looks almost like the Ibex from the Hunter Classic. That's actually really cool. Well, I think that since this is something you don't see every day, we're definitely going to take it out. That's more interesting than anything I've been able to come across as of today. So we are going to go ahead and drop it on the spot. That is such a cool looking Ibex. I'm actually pretty excited to go take a look at that. Well, here it is. Probably one of the most interesting Ronda Ibex I've ever seen. That thing is incredibly narrow. You just don't see them like that very often at all. And in fact, this is the first one I've ever seen that looks like this. So I'm actually pretty happy that we got this. That is quite the Ronda Ibex. My gosh. How does that even happen? I mean, I guess that's true Rex going to work for you. Uh, it only scores 84 though. Uh, but we're definitely going to, I think, tax that probably. Yeah, we're going to tax that because that's a crazy looking Ibex. That'll go in one of our backup lodges. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Well, unfortunately, multiplayer did not deliver and there wasn't really any multiplayer servers left that I hadn't already joined. So we went over to single player and this guy right here is at the second lake that I decided to go to. 102 to 113 estimate Ronda Ibex. It is a level four, so it's not guaranteed that it'll be a diamond, but this is our best chance so far. So let's be smart with this shot and not screw it up. And that is a dead Ibex right there. That is a beautiful sight. This is definitely one of the better Ronda Ibex that we have come across. And I think it's got a better chance at making it than the last one did. I really hope at least. It is a little bit bigger. 103.10. We have just been on fire with these heart shots too. I think we've heart shot every single Ronda Ibex that we have found. Which is uh, pretty awesome. Definitely didn't expect to be doing that quite as much as we are. Well, it may not be a Ronda Ibex, but that is a pretty big Greedos right there. So I think we will go ahead and take it out. I still don't know every single spot that the Rondas can be at. So I'm kind of just searching the map and well, we just happened to stumble upon some Greedos and that guy is a pretty good one. So I figure we might as well take him out too. Now, diamond for these guys is 100, so if this guy manages to hit at the very top of the estimate, this would end up making diamond, and honestly, this kind of looks like a big one, so maybe it is, but unfortunately it is just 93, so 7 points below. That's still very solid Greedos, though, not the Rondas we're looking for, but another cool trophy to take down. Oh my gosh, there we go. So that's definitely not a Ronda Ibex, but that is a level 5 Greedos Ibex. And that is a uh, sight for sore eyes because I have been looking for just something spectacular for the last two hours and no luck with the Ronda. So I decided to look around the rest of the map and as you guys saw, we got a Greedos at one of the previous lakes and it was actually a pretty decent one and now we've got ourselves a level five right in front of us uh, now the question is are we going to be able to get a shot in from here or will we have to move because that tree's like right in front of the lungs so we're gonna have to move up a little bit more I believe now I don't know a ton about the different horns for any of the ibex really but this does appear to be a pretty good size Greedo, so I just hope it doesn't troll. I don't think it will. I've never actually seen them troll, so I guess we shall see. It does also appear to be the gray fur type, which is definitely my favorite of the different fur types. And that is going to be a lung shot right there on that beautiful level 5 Greedos. Second shot takes him down. I believe that second one was lung also. So we should not have any reason that we wouldn't get diamond unless it just doesn't score high enough. Man, that is just a beautiful sight. That is an awesome thing to see. Now, hopefully this will end up scoring higher than what we have in our current Grand Slam mount. Because if it does, we might end up swapping them out. And this guy is a 102.80 diamond. What a beautiful diamond Greedos Ibex. Now... I've heard a lot of people say that there is some problems with the horns for the Greedos. Uh, not like a scoring issue or anything like that, but just the fact that they don't look realistic. I've never actually seen what Greedos Ibex look in real life, so let me know in the comments below 
what you guys know about the Greedo Cybex and what is actually wrong with them in game because a lot of people say that their horns just aren't realistic so let me know why because I'm not sure but that is an awesome Ibex right there it's been ages since I've killed a diamond Ibex because typically you guys don't like the Ibex content that much uh, it's one thing that I've noticed with previous Ibex videos I've posted not nearly as many people enjoy those but it looks like we're going to be grinding them for quite a while now, so hopefully we can find some cool trophies and hopefully you guys will enjoy the content. So it looks like our current Greedos Ibex that's in this uh, multi-mount is actually quite a decent bit bigger than the one that we just got, so it looks like we will not be replacing anything in this mount as of now, but uh, hopefully we can get something to replace one of these eventually. I know there's a couple in here that are actually pretty small compared to what I would like if I remember right. I think this uh, Southeastern Spanish Ibex is actually the one that will get replaced first if I'm not mistaken but everything else in here is going to probably stay because they're all much nicer than the average that you would find but I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys enjoyed be sure to subscribe click the like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video also be sure to comment down below what you guys would like to see me do next and if there's any type of uh, I guess type of weapon that you guys would like to see me use on the Ibex but with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video Peace!